Okay, here's a solution for the impossible math problem. Obviously, it's not impossible if there's a solution. So here we go. Remember what I told you before, I have an unknown amount of cards. And I put them in stacks of two, I had one left over, stacks of three, one left over, stacks of four, one left over, stacks of seven, zero left over. So now I ask you to find how many cards I have. So here we go. I just wrote it out in math. So you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so now here we go. We start listing out multiples of seven, because we know that it's a multiple of seven because there's zero left over when I put out stacks of seven. And since there's one left over when I put out stacks of two, we know that it's an odd number. So I just went through and eliminated the ones that we know for sure are not the right ones. So obviously all even numbers are out, okay? And then we try the rest of them with the other two hints that we have. So seven, you can see I put two stacks of three, we'll have one left over, which satisfies that. But then we try four, well, if we put one stack of four, we have three left over. So we know seven's out. 21 is a multiple of three, so we'll have zero left over. So that's out. 35, we divide it by three, we're going to get 11, we're going to have 2 left over, so we know that one's out. Now 49, we can divide that by 3 and we're going to get 16 with the remainder of 1, okay? And divide it by 4, we're going to get 12 with the remainder of 1. So that works. Basically, this is saying divide it by three, stacks of three, one's remainder, divided by four, one's remainder. So 49 is our first answer. The second part of the question was, is there more than one answer? And of course, numbers are infinite, so there has to be an infinite number of answers. So I'll, you can go through and you can kind of start to develop a relationship between that solution and the rest of the solutions. So I did 7 squared, which is 49, which we know for sure is the answer because we just found it. And if you go through all the exponents of 7, 7 cubed, well that actually doesn't work out, but you'll find that the even exponents of 7 do in fact work. So 7 to the fourth is 2401, Divide that by 3, you get 800 with the remainder of 1. Dividing by 4, 600 with the remainder of 1. And since they're both remainders of 1, we know that's going to work. And 7 to the 6th is 117,649. Dividing by 3, you get a remainder of 1. Dividing by 4, you, do, you get a remainder of 1. So we know that also works. So our general solution is... 7 to the 2n power, where n is any number from 1 to infinity. So I was thinking, well, can that be all of them? And that is a lot of them, obviously. But it actually turns out that there is more in between those. So if you keep listing your multiples of 7 all the way down, and you get to 133, which is 7 times 19, you'll see that it does work, and 217, and the list goes on. Now, find a relationship between those, and I kind of started it there. So seven, 49 is seven times seven, 133 is seven times 19, 217 is seven times 31. Well, you can also write it like this. All right, so seven and the 19 is seven plus 12, 31 is 7 plus 24. So you can see this column over here is increasing by 12 each time. So it comes on down. So now our number of cards equals 7 times a quantity of 7 plus n minus 1 times 12. And n is any number from 1 to infinity. Now before, just going back to our exponent answers, you can see 7 squared is 49, 7 to the 4th, 2401. 
and I just found the n number that correlates to those. So this right here is our general solution for all answers. Pretty cool, huh? Gets pretty involving once you get into it.